So I always like uh, showing some of these, I want to say spy cameras. I guess that's kind of what they're called. This is this is a smart digital clock from Alpha Tech. Now, Alpha Tech is a company that makes, as you can see here, discrete security cameras. So they have all kinds of discrete stuff. So it's they take security cameras and they put them into products that you and I would probably have around the house anyway, so that you can't really tell that it's a security camera, which I kind of like. Uh, this one is uh, in the housing of, as you can see, a smart digital clock. So that one, I think, yeah, right here. So this is it here, protect your privacy, Wi-Fi hidden camera clock. Let's just click on it. Uh, 1080p, dual band, five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Now, depending on where you're putting this, uh, it will work on either, but distance wise, if it is gonna be further away from, let's say your network, your router, uh, I would probably choose the 2.4 gigahertz just because those are usually stronger at longer distances. Uh, nanny camera. So you don't have to just put a, you know, a hidden camera in your uh, a teddy bear, which is what we used to always think. 160 degree wide angle, which is also good. It's nice to have a nice wide, right? So you can capture more of the room. Now, again, one of the things I like about this is if you were to have this, let's say in a guest room or your bedroom or maybe even the kitchen or you had it in your office no one honestly would take a second glance at something like this i'm i'm thinking that it looks it's going to look good right anyways uh let's see it does have it does have an app that you can use ultimate convert covert not convert covert monitoring and a standard digital clock and uh, the digital clock looks kind of cool so i would i would definitely even have this probably in my bedroom because i've always said i need a clock in my bedroom because uh, i always have to kind of wake up and then go grab my phone just to figure out what time it is so uh this though this is it so let's uh let's open the box all right so again not much on the box itself designed in the u.s made in china so Cool, smart digital clock. Does say type C for powering slash, I guess, charging. 60 degree adjustable stand. Uh, you can plug it in. No sound recording. So just be aware that this is visual only, no, no audio. Okay, and maybe that's, you know, they didn't have any spot to put a microphone. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not here to judge. Anyways, let's open it up. So we have a, uh, let's get started, download the app. So we have to do that. So this is, we're, we're doing this all live with you guys so let's download the app there's a good little qr code so we're just gonna do this purple garden physic reading so it takes me to that took me to their website okay which i guess is just where the uh uh it's a quick that's, that's just a quick video I, that's fantastic and all it would be nice if they had a link in their description or something to uh download it anyways to tuya it's called the tuya app I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that. Let's just see how easy that is to find. I may have downloaded it before for another app. I don't know. Too you smart? Yeah. Oh yeah, so I even have it already. Good, so some other camera must need it. So I'm gonna just gonna log into this so that we're ready. Okay, so I'm all I'm all logged in. The nice thing is it does allow you to use like your Google login and stuff like that. So that's, that's great. Uh, there is a smart digital clock user guide. There's again that video QR. Uh, so it does say you, it records onto a micro SD card. So my guess is you're going to have to possibly supply that. There is another QR code here for registration, but I'm, I'm, I'm sad that they don't have a QR code. Maybe it's just simple, but I'm sad they don't have a QR code to go get the app. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do this. It does have us a, a setup here, uh, plug camera into USB. Okay. Uh, make sure the camera is charged. All right. On your phone, go to your settings and Wi-Fi. You'll see a Smart Life uh, Wi-Fi come up. Connect to that. Open the app. Should be good to go. Yes. Cool. I got it all in here. All in here. So, this is this is the camera. It's actually fairly light. It is fairly light. There is a little cleaning cloth, and that's going to be useful for uh, cleaning like the lens and things like that. This is going to be uh, looks like the base of the clock. So it, that's that's where your it says you know it's ang angleable, and there's a little like tightening screw in inside inside here you guys should be able to see that and then you get a USB A to USB C as well as a plug in depending on what you're you know charging charging this up with so maybe you're charging it into a USB maybe you need AC power 
It is, it is what it is. Okay. So, yeah, you know what? It, it, with, with this, and it's way lighter, just be aware. With this kind of coating on it, it feels honestly like it's said one of those little Google or like Alexa the screens. Now, not, not as big as they are, but it's kind of got that feel. But if you were to hold one of those in your hand versus holding one of these in your hand, uh, there's a big difference. There's that USB-C plug in the back, and you can see the digital stuff. This one's got a bunch of smudge on it. I'm just going to pull that off. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, AM, PM, which means it's going to go this way. And then this, see, it's it's just, see this? I'm guessing that's just like Velcro, right? So, you know what? You can just kind of put that on there, maybe. I don't know. That's what my thought would have been. It was like a Velcro. But I could be completely wrong. Anyway, you could just, I, well, I guess you just sit it there, you know? That's just, it just sits there. Is it, is it, it comes right off, but... You angle that however you want, and there's your there's your stand. Is it is it gonna like lock itself on? Well, it's not. It shouldn't fall off unless you bang it. But remember, it's not like an alarm clock or anything like that. It's just it's gonna be a clock. So you're you're not gonna reach over and like have to hit the snooze button or anything like that. Yes. All right, that's fine. The bonus is it's like super super movable. So I'm gonna put that there so you guys can see it. And I'm just gonna plug it in because it does say that we have to uh, we have to plug it in. Right, so let's let's do that, shall we? Plugging it in, eight o'clock flasher. Okay, let's go in here and let's see if we can figure out what's happening. Okay, so what we need to do here is camera and lock, smart camera, two point four five gigahertz. Go up to the top, say Wi-Fi mode. Next next, next, AP mode, enter Wi-Fi password, next, okay, maybe I have to choose my network, maybe, so if I come in here, it's weird, and I say this one, and then I say password, next, Connect your phone to the hotspot shown below. Okay, go to connect. It's very kind of backwards. Smart life. Because you have to connect to your network and then back to this network. Okay, go back. It says it's connecting. Because normally you connect to this and then you connect to your home network. This actually makes you connect to your home ne network first and then back to this. So a little strange. We're we're gonna we're gonna see if this this functions. I'll be back once this hopefully is connected. Well, there there you go. It seems to have done it. Seems to have done it. So I'm gonna hit security camera. Yes, done. Retrieve, and the time showed up, and we've got video. Excellent. That's okay, and there's nowhere, you can't really even, like there's, I would say there's no way to see that there's an actual camera there. Uh, so it does have on the app, my signal strength, which is 80%. Uh, you do have like an edit up top, you have like SD or H, HD or SD, depending on what you want. Uh, you can go full screen, which, which looks fine. Uh, come out of this, just go back, I guess. You can record, so if I hit record here, this would be recording this, I would think, to the phone. Now again, this doesn't have an SD card in it right now, there must be an SD card slot in here, but it does have access to uh, cloud storage as well, so if that is something that you're at all interested in, that is also there. There is, oh no, I'm like, what is, there's a weird, weird reflection, but that's, I don't know. Oh, that's just this on my screen. I was like, what is that? Anyways, there you go, some recording. I'm gonna stop the recording. Video has been saved to the app album. Very good. Uh, you get your playback, photo album, screenshots, speak. Uh, again, just realize that this doesn't have any sound to it. There's an edit button at the top, so device information. Very cool. All the kind of stuff you need. Tap to run and automation. Basic function settings. So flip screen, status indicator, time watermark, etc., etc. IR night vision. There's an auto display settings. 
So how, how bright the screen is, I guess. Uh, detection alarm settings, cloud storage, message notifications, phone notifications, uh, offline notifications. I do like that. Give me one of those. Sure. Uh, share device, add to home screen, et cetera, et cetera. So I may actually do this add to home screen because I, I don't mind when something like this is accessible. You know what? Uh, except for the little bit of it, the instructions actually are pretty good. The instructions are pretty good. They, they, they walk you through it. Um, make sure you read it because there is some things that I'm like, that's a little backwards, but it's fine. Uh, device update. So they do have right, uh, firmware updates. So you can come in here and tell it, I'm going to tell it to do firmware updates automatically. If they find any, I just find that I'm probably not going to pay enough attention to this, to be going in all the time to be looking right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Cloud storage yet not attached. But there is this little fella up there. I'm guessing that uh, I'm hoping that it's it's there's a, an SD spot on this. There's got to be right. There's got to be an SD card slot on this. One would think. Maybe I'm maybe I'm full of crap. Maybe I don't I don't even know. Maybe does this come off? Does this come off? I'm curious. I'm, I just want to I want to pull that off. Does this anything? Where does the SD card go? That is the question. And and it's it's really got this feeling like this bat oh, maybe it does just come off. So you just gotta give it a firm pull. There we go. Yeah, so there you go. There's your SD card slot. As well as you have a uh I guess this is like your reset and things like that on off. So if you don't want to have it on, you can turn it off. So that but that's that's your SD card slot right there. So yes, this little door, this little door does come off. And uh, now it makes more sense. Now it makes more sense. All right, guys, you know what? If you're looking for something, and this could be great, like I said, for an office or something, you know, you put it, maybe maybe you have a business and you have like a front desk and you have like a bookshelf and you just put this in the bookshelf so that it's looking over the front desk and like the entryway and stuff like that. Again, nobody's gonna look at that and be like, camera. Now realize sometimes visually seeing a camera can be reason enough for someone to not act like an idiot because they know they're being recorded. But uh, this, this can be nice for those instances that you kind of want to hide that. All right, guys, uh, this is the Alpha Tech uh, hidden uh, camera clock. They have a whole bunch of different kind of uh, spy tech Wi-Fi stuff. So I think I think this one's actually one of my favorites so far. And uh, that's it. We'll see you guys next video. Links down below if you're interested. And uh, I'm out. Later.